Have you ever been watching a show and something so cool happens that when it ends you immediately want to watch it again? I've experienced it in Game of Thrones with the Battle of the Bastards, Rick and Morty with Rick's Massacre of the Sewer Rats, and the Lord of the Rings with the Charge of the Rohirrim. Today I want to look at a scene from an anime called No Game No Life and talk about how this scene adds a little something extra because it not only empowers the characters, but it empowers the audience as well. No Game No Life is a 12 episode fantasy adventure from producers Madhouse, who've also done titles such as Hunter x Hunter, One Punch Man, Parasite, and Helsing Ultimate to name a few. From the IMBD description, it reads that siblings Sora and Shiro together make up the most feared team of pro gamers in the world, calling themselves blank. When they manage to be God himself in a game of chess, they are sent to a world where all disputes are settled with games. In episode 6, the two siblings are facing off against Jibril, the youngest and strongest of an immortal angel-like race called the Flugel. It's important to note that Flugel are one of the strongest races within the world, while humans, known as Amenity, are considered squarely at the bottom of the food chain. As a result of this, Jibril never really considers Sora and Shiro a threat, a mistake which will end up leading to her eventual defeat. But what was I talking about when I said empowering an audience? I've been thinking a lot lately about what moments in film have really stuck out to me. There's the usual suspects, grandiose scenes of visual spectacle, a fantastic camera movement from a visionary DOP, or maybe just an extremely well choreographed fight scene. But I think the most powerful moments are always the ones that change the way an audience views the characters. Almost all stories have this, a moment of revelation where a new and interesting bit of information is revealed. You can see it in Kung Fu Panda, where Poe starts to fight Tai Lung, in The Matrix, where Neo first stops the bullets from the three agents, and one of my personal favourites is where Aang re-enters the Avatar state, turning the tides in a battle against Phoenix King Ozai. But No Game No Life does something a little bit differently, because unlike the previous examples, instead of using some super hypey explosion of extra significance, wonder, magic and power that is unbeatable by anything anywhere, the characters Sora and Shiro overcome their adversary in a way that you or I could. Because while magic does exist in the world, they use science and logic to overcome it. It's here that I find the true genius of the scene to shine. Sora uses basic scientific concepts like gravity and the structure of the Earth in order to outwit Jibril. In fact, up until his final reveal, everything that Sora says is pretty understandable from a basic scientific standpoint. The thing that elevates it, however, is the way in which Jibril is demonized throughout the scene. Jibril constantly refers to Sora and Shira as little more than ants underneath her. But this opinion is not based on anything she knows about them personally, but rather just the fact that she knows they're human. This creates for the audience an us versus them mentality, because it's not the value of Sora and Shira that are being insulted, but the value of all humanity. And as a result, Jibril's defeat at the hands of Blank offers a far more cathartic victory because it was achieved through human means. It's a victory that empowers the audience because it shows shows them the solution to a problem, letting them know that if they were then put in the same situation, they'd also be able to make it out victorious. Well that's it for this week's episode. If you'd like to leave me some feedback, put a comment down below and I'll get to it in the next Candid Conversations video. A link to the community discord server is in the description, and if you haven't already, click the subscribe button to follow along with any of my future content. Until then, thanks for watching.